don't know what set I didn't have this thing. Hey, 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 guess what? I'm back. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna have some cool introduction to this, but I don't. All I know is I got a messy garage right now that uh, Mustang will return to as right now, as of right now, the Mustang's currently at my other garage where I had my Caprice at. And my Caprice is currently at the, what is it? Defiant DMS, the DSM, so like Defiant Motorsports, so DS. Yeah. All right, I'm looking back, this look. Little girls over there by my car and shit. You know how it is. When you see somebody by your car and stuff, you get distracted. <clears throat> but like I said, this is uh for the level wheels. Do I say I'm a host or something like that? I don't know. I'm getting used to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice little uh. Well, it's still technically summer, but in Wisconsin, this should turn into fall quick. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh today. I want to get into how much of some BS I'm about to get into. By BS, I mean just random book. Right now, I'm I'm kind of thinking that I probably should focus on one car at a time when it comes to that. But I see, I know a lot of people just work on multiple cars at one time. Uh, I don't have all the cars here, so I can't show all of them to you. But I kind of want to go. I'm not gonna go in the line, I guess, since the Caprice is already over there. Um, just get maintenance maintenance done to it. It has a carburetor and then I guess that was gummed up. I do I did store it and I didn't put any like uh anything in the tank to you know stop it from gumming up. So I'm pretty sure that fuel was probably like three years old. So that led to me having to put what seven hundred dollars into it to get the maintenance back up. So that's just the price you pay when you have multiple cars and some of them aren't um geared for all your you know wear and tear. But here's the thing about that one, I wanna to try to make it more reliable so I can drive it more often. And Chevy guys are probably gonna hate the idea I have uh, for that Caprice. It's 89 Caprice Classic um, LS Broham. I have 26 inch wheels on it um, with extremely low pro rubber band tires on there. So uh, the goal is to Tundra swap it with a 3, 3UZ. Out of like a tundra or a sequoia and possibly throw the cheap the bolt on supercharger on it so that'll roughly bring it up to around 500 horse i'm pretty sure the torque is going to be out of this world since it is coming out of a um more of a truck so hopefully it'll handle it and from then there i'll probably need to do a disc brake conversion um all right now the drums on there i don't think it's it's cutting it Theoretically, you want to have disc on something that's with those, you know, that's diameter of wheels on there. You don't want to ride around like that. So sometimes it, do, it does get a little. I drove it back from St. Louis like that, but it does get sketchy. Continue that um, word I was going to get into. But yeah, it does get sketchy at times. But yeah, uh, so I do. Those are the things in the future I want to do. And I also, the box boys out there are probably going to, you know, hate that that I'm not putting another Chevy motor in there. But you got to be different in the car game. Like I love to please everybody, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. A lot of people are gonna hate me in this channel for the things I want to do. Like a lot of swaps. I'm doing some abnormal swaps. Do I want to uh, mess with the Mustang boys? I have a Fox body. Do I want to do a different swap with that? I was thinking about it just for shits and giggles. But I always, I always keep that that um, that five point. I'll keep that Windsor. You know, just hanging around because it's not, nothing beats the sound. I don't know. It's something about the sound of a push rod that just. I know that's distinctive. I don't know if I'll do it with that particular Fox body. I think I want to kind of keep her stockish as far as motor wise and stuff like that, just for reliability, just keep it around stockish. And I know a lot of people say they want to keep it stock like Mike Mike, but then end up going nuts. I love watching this channel. Just watch them go nuts. Like, yeah, he'll sit there and talk himself into, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it stock. Then all of a sudden go nuts. I'll supercharger put a uh, fender flares on and all kinds of you know it doesn't become a daily anymore it becomes a you kind of can daily it but what's your fuel economy gonna look like but that's cool man i love i love watching people do different stuff like people get upset about the swaps if it's not my car and i didn't pay for it swap it you know swap do what you want to do man it's like it's your life man if you're out there and you have an idea don't be afraid of doing it because you're you're afraid of what the backlash is from the community um, just do it because you love it and you want to try something different. Let's, I like different drivetrains, so um, 
I would love to do an all-wheel drive conversion on uh, Caprice Classic. And with the three, I, I would love to do that. It would take a lot of money and take a lot to put into it. That'd be one of the goals if my channel actually expanded to get like, you know, enough views or help me you know, do that. I also love to build cars for other people or like just do bills and raffle them out. Like I eventually want to do uh, merch and all that stuff like that. Well, hopefully those are like, you know, sponsor the bills and stuff like that. If I get to that level, like I said, I'm not, it's not guaranteed that my channel will become popping like that, but it's just something to look into and just, uh, I don't know, kind of venture off in. I would love to do that, but nothing's given nowadays. And so you just gotta, you know, if I have to do it myself, build it with my own money. It'll take more time, but I'll eventually get to it. I'm pretty sure just the work on the conversion, no one's probably ever done it yet. So <laughs> probably looking at like 50 grand for all the stuff I want to do to the car. Uh, the car looks all right right now. I'm pretty sure you can use a little touch up on the paint. Probably uh, the rag needs a little attention. And just uh, various other things probably need attention on, but right now it's drivable. I'm waiting for them to call me about it. Uh, they're trying to align the 26 inches right now, you know, 26 inch wheels right now. A lot of people couldn't do it in the area because their uh, machine wasn't able to, I guess it wasn't, I guess, modern enough to grab a 26. So they gotta realize, I'm like, you guys are, I'm pretty sure you guys are grabbing like, F-150, F-250s with lifts and bigger wheels on it. I'm pretty sure it's not the biggest wheel, I'm like, I think the diameter is almost the same between some of these guys with like these 32s on it and stuff like that. I'm like, how they get in alignment? So, like I said, I don't know. It is what it is, but someone's able to grab it. So hopefully I see my Caprice by Friday, which would be nice. So uh, let's see. Let's go down the line here and talk about some of this stuff. I'm pretty sure you're tired of looking at my face. But let's see here. Uh, all right. This is the 1992 Nissan Glory you've seen from the first video that I think I'll be putting up. Well, I already put up. Uh, it had like 20 something views. Woo! You know, I'm blowing up, boy. 20 views. I'm out. I'm out here. But yeah, here's the 87 Nissan Maxima. That, uh, like I said, once if I when I finish this up, I know I've done a lot in this channel to get me to that point. I really want to do her. I love the Caprice to death, but she came first. Uh, um, my first car was a 1987 Nissan Maxima. I had a black GXE. I'm pretty sure I'm repeating this stuff. I have other videos I haven't quite. Uh, I haven't gone through and actually done the job of editing everything so you have to you know bear with me if you hear a lot of repeated stuff but you know you could be new to the channel which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are because I have at this point in time I have like three subscribers and one of them is me from another account <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie to you so yes 87 Nissan Maxima got like 150,000 miles on it love that car to death even though uh, a lot of people probably don't don't like it because it is basically uh it's a baby box chevy because they're both square as hell so oh shit what was that all right <laughs> something touched me and it felt like a bee i was about to be out of here right. pardon me if it's a little windy out here but it feels great out here i don't know i want to take her for a ride right now that's my 2000 lexus ls 400 sitting on bc racing coilovers the I think the BR series, I'm not sure. I have to check again, I have the box somewhere. Um, let's see. What I wanna do, I guess I wanna, I'm not sure if I'm, you know, technically gonna do a full VIP build on it. I kinda wanna mix it up a little bit. Cause everybody's going full VIP where they put the curtains in, they put the pillows and stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda take it there, but I wanna put just a little, a little different twist on it. I'll take it to the point, but I actually wanna put you know some inner city vibes on it as they want to call it, some urban vibes on it basically for me it's chicago vibes on it so i might do what i have to do on it uh i'm more into fitment versus uh stance and stuff like that so right now as you see i'm not quite i probably got to cut those uh probably get my offset a little different for the front so it looks a little bit even like the rear does and i can lower it a little bit more but for some reason i'm not sure the catalytic converter hangs a little low so i can't ride too low and get up this, this driveway even though it's not a steep driveway it still has a little bit of a uh, little bit of a steep i don't know a grade to it i don't know what kind of grade and this is from the glorious spitting oh man i gotta take this thing to wash oh, that's trash i'm not sure i'll do it by hand because this paint is kind of um, it's kind of whooped anyway but i'll say it's clap clap but it's it's at least two it's at least two of the claps not a whole bunch of claps but and last, well, not last but not least, I still got another one. We got the LS430, which is kind of just my daily go back and forth from work. 
and I'm probably just gonna get some newer factory wheels because whoever owned this car before me, um, I know it was a woman. Hey, don't take this personal, ladies, but uh, curb rash on all four wheels. It hurt. But yeah, it looks like uh, the setting, unless it was a super short man. I remember when I first jumped in there, I was sitting up, almost had that steering wheel on my chest. I was like, oh, so that's fine though. But you know, it had, I bought it with 78,000 miles on it. So right now I'm up to about 80 something. I haven't put a lot of miles on it for the winter. I actually drove to 400. But hopefully this is my last winter here. I'm planning on moving to Las Vegas. So hopefully I'll have uh, car content for 365. And it'd be nice to do that. Cause the more videos up, the better it is to possibly monetize this stuff and try to move in that direction. Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if you can call this a vlog yet. This is just me making YouTube videos right now So we'll see where it goes from here. Maybe I can incorporate a lot of things I kind of want to do right now. I just I'm I'm up to what 11 minutes of just rambling Like I said, I kind of introduced the cars I introduced myself a little bit I don't know if there's too much more to introduce about myself. Just it's a dude doing car uh, content Not just car content. Like I said before anything you know for the love of wheels means anything on wheels as you've seen, you've seen the, um, I actually have a, a beast mode coming. It's a 27 inch, I mean 27, 20, 27 plus uh, with the fat tires on there. So I'm doing some more of these SEs. And I got two SE um, BMX, one's a 29. Oh, they're both 29s. The quad angle and the mic buff, which I might do a disc brake conversion on that one. And I have a 26 inch um, Specialized and I'll get that uh, 